Echo is a new MCU series that debuts on Disney Plus and Hulu. So today, let's see if the series is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Maya was a character that was introduced in Hawkeye, a very smaller character that didn't have a lot of development to make a character that I really connected with. And so honestly, when they announced a series focused on this character, I was a bit surprised uh, and I just wasn't really that interested in it. And then they just said, oh, you know, we're going to drop all five episodes at once. And it's part of this new MCU spotlight focusing on smaller characters. And then we got our trailer and I was immediately interested. It felt something completely different than I have seen in the MCU. And Echo so far is a really good series. This is a much smaller story for a much smaller MCU character, but it does it in a way that makes it feel very grounded and the approach to it feels very personal. We get a lot of backstory for this character played by Alakwa Cox and she is uh, deaf and she is very determined to take down Kingpin. And she's very motivated and we see that within this character is that she has been manipulated by Kingpin for years. And so she's taken what she has learned and now is pinning that against Kingpin. These episodes get enough backstory for this character and exploration of her heritage and how it relates to our current storyline for um, this character. And we get a lot of the past moments with her family and some uh, issues that she has with them, but also looking at how she, Kingpin raised her and manipulated her as well. That all plays an integral part to this story. And uh, like I said, this is a series that feels very different from other MCU shows or movies as it is ha has a mature audience rating to it and uh, it has some brutal moments. There are some really nicely filmed action scenes as we've seen in uh, some trailers and some clips for the series. We do have Daredevil in here and watching them two uh, fight against each other, there is enough uh, nicely edited action scenes. It does feel very reminiscent of the Daredevil show that was on Netflix. Nicely edited action that's brutal and it's intense. It's right in your face. And I really like how they filmed a lot of these action scenes. And Alakwa Cox does a great job handling those action scenes. Like I said, she's very brutal. She's very confident in herself and that allows for her to be in this position to try to take over Kingpin and uh, get revenge on what happened to her father. So the story itself, much smaller, and I understand it being part of this new MCU spotlight, really just focusing on much smaller characters and having very personal development for them. So five episodes, you do get a story where uh, it connects to her past, you see some development for her and how she's growing as a character, but it has one like one single mission for her. And it works so well with not having something that's trying to connect to a bunch of other movies or set up something in the future or uh, answer questions from previous shows. Yes, there are a couple different references and other characters that make appearances within the series, but for the most part, it is a very grounded series that is focusing on one character and her mission against Kingpin. And I was so interested in that and that allowed for a chance for the character to naturally develop and have awesome action within it and a story that feels very personal to this character. So going into the series, I wasn't expecting much and even interested in it, but that trailer and uh, the short five episodes that we do get, it allowed for a series to naturally grow and I was impressed with the action and how gritty it was and how different it felt. There was so many times I felt like I was just watching a Hulu series rather than it being a MCU show. When you got references to Kingpin and what happened in Hawkeye and Daredevil, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm watching an MCU series. But a lot of it does feel very mature and different from Loki and um, Hawkeye and WandaVision. Those have your typical MCU flair to it. 
this is very different and I really did like it. So a character I didn't know much about in the Hawkeye series. There was a lot of potential for a good story and this is it. Very personal story for her. Natural growth, great action, and I love seeing Daredevil briefly within here. And him fighting against Maya, it's so cool to see these two characters against each other. Just potential for more storyline, potential for more individual spotlight series that could work and grow smaller characters without sacrificing some big moments and having it connect to other shows. So Maya Lopez, a character I didn't know much about in Hawkeye, but I appreciate it that they took a gamble with this and it was a really good series. Vincent D'Onofrio is also great once again as Kingpin, very intimidating, menacing, a character that was so well written in the Daredevil series and was a little bit gimmicky in the Hawkeye show, but I like his approach, but I like the approach to this character within here, really bringing back that menacing uh, vibe to this character and Vincent D'Onofrio is perfect as Kingpin and once again shows why this role is made for him. So I highly recommend checking out Echo. All five episodes drop on Disney Plus and Hulu at the same time. Uh, people right there were like, you know, they're not really believing in this series, but it's definitely worth your time. So before I give you my score for Echo, make sure to check out my channel here. I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Echo a B+. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Echo, the new Hulu Disney Plus MCU series. Have you guys seen it by chance? What would you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.